if you have that problem on your car when you want to pass the gear as you can see there's no there's no pressure whatsoever uh, it's not stiff um, I, I will show you what to do now the first thing we have to look is the fluid here uh, it's dot four uh, it's written on it uh, but as you can see here it's empty if it's empty it's obviously that you are losing oil somewhere so I will show you where to look first place to go and look is where the pedals are if you look behind you've got the a cylinder here as you can see I've changed that one and there's no leak eh? as you can see it's all dry so obviously the, the leak is not here uh, so we're gonna look it into another place uh, if on your car you can see that it's leaking oil then this one is to be changed it's uh, it's very cheap so you don't have to worry about that so it's something like 20 euro okay so the other place we have to look here we have the engine here we have the gearbox and as you can see on the side of the of the exhaust there's the cylinder here uh, very often when it's leaking you know because here it's wet because it's it's leaking all the way and you got the wet thing here so when this happens your unit is to be changed to remove it it's not easy you have to remove the uh, the exhaust um, once it's out you will see it's a spanner of 13 so you've got two uh, that's bolted on the on the gearbox and you've got a little tube fluid the dot four uh, that goes on the top it's 13 as well uh, it's not easy uh, it's gonna be quite difficult to remove it uh, I strongly suggest you've got the car eye up okay to do that to remove the master cylinder you will have to raise the car obviously you can put the jack uh, that's with the car uh, but it's gonna be difficult uh, you can do it but but it's difficult if you've got a, a jack uh, like that a bit more professional uh, leave the car as high as you can it's much better much easier um, you will see it huh? uh, but anyway if you got a normal jack uh, it's fine too as I told you before, you'll have to remove the exhaust, huh? so this one is 300 turbo diesel. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see, here you have to unclip it and remove the tube, okay? Um, there's no need to go higher than that, you don't need to remove the turbo and everything, just from here and under the car as well. Um, I will show you as well on the other I've got, I've got a 200, it's just two bolts, 13. Uh, you remove it and and under as well okay this one is the 200 as you can see I've removed it uh, so the two bolts are here so this one is a bit a bit different but same thing there's no here there's no turbo but it, it's something so you remove the two bolts here and under okay I'll show you under in a minute as you can see we're under the car so the rear part uh, just remove the two bolts here 13 and then from the front, uh, here you've got a U piece um, where the, the exhaust is sitting. You remove it and uh, the, the, the front exhaust is coming up. Huh? No problem. I'll try to show you that the pipe here is loose. As you can see, I've disconnected it. Now I need to remove that bolt and that one. And the part will come out that way. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, it's very very difficult to film here as you can see it's leaking. It's normal After once we put back the part we'll have to bleed it the new one. Okay, as we see here This is the part huh? the 201-290-0011 That's faulty uh, um, I've removed it and as you can see I'm not sure if you can see it the 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 seal is cracked here so you see there's a leak uh, so this must go, when you see that it has to be changed uh, this is the new part uh, this is not mercedes uh, this part number here we go three nine zero one two eight uh, um, brand new as you can see the seal is fine here uh, this has to be removed that's where the pipe gets connected and this is to bleed um, the pump okay so anyway i'm gonna fit it now as you can see here we've got both parts this one is the mercedes-benz the original with the reference and here's the the copy if you want 
okay the non original same part exactly the same part uh, just new uh, it's delivered the new part is delivered without the joint so you will need to use the old one the old one which is here and as you can see there's only one way to fit it and here there's a groove so if we fit it here as you can see here it fits no problem if we put it the other way around it doesn't fit okay so the groove goes towards the the gearbox okay so it fits like that and the groove that way okay so before to fit it make sure you clean it nicely of course and then you fit it this needs to be removed of course put the the pipe and then after we need to bleed it before to put the new parts make sure you clean it here nicely um, as you can see there's also a mark for the um, for the joint okay so you can't get wrong okay clean it nicely fit it here first and then this one after okay because if you put this one first it's gonna be wobbling it's not gonna be nice here at least gonna be nice and nicely fitted it'll be good okay and then after you put the other one make sure it's nice and tight uh, as you can see here i got the parts in place i put the two bolts that i'm gonna tighten now the joint is put and after i'll place that one okay so this one first and after this one okay now the part is fitted as you can see it doesn't move okay so now we're fitting this one at the top it's a uh, it's a spanner of 12 okay this one spanner of 13 that we're gonna fit here and now to tighten this it's uh, as you call it a pain in the ass um, the spanner that we use is 12 as you can see because of the space we have which is very tight we'll have to use a spanner like this after that we turn it and we use it again now as you can see this prevents us from moving so sometimes we'll have to put the spanner high up I'm showing you okay it's in we lower it and we move it but this has to be very tight if it's not tight it will leak oil and you have to start it all over again um, also if it leaks oil it will take some air and you have a problem with with the gearbox again okay so here we go this has to be done properly okay now what we need to do is to fill this up okay it's uh, dot four you fill it up, up to the maximum as you can see there's minimum and maximum you fill up to the max uh, you bleed it for that you will see that in another of my videos and and you'll be on your way okay